Hey, I am Nia Damison. My name is Mia Harris. Cece Balgot. Case Walker. Jai Brish Kulak. Lena Lacombe. Justin Derrickson. The Steve. Love the Cheryl. And here's a recap of Monster High 1. So you're all caught up for the sequel. This is what I've been waiting for. Here I am, I'm coming out of the dark. Well, picture opens on a girl who is skateboarding out in the forest. I mean, I don't know who she is yet. And she utter puts herself in a Whoops! Claudia and Bolt, she is half human, half werewolf. She's gotta run, 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 run home. And then when she gets home, her dad's like, you can't go out in public. And she's like, oh my gosh, I know. I have been living my whole life in hiding. I mean, I can't even go to the park without getting chased. You were chased? Yes. So then she's like, I wanna go to Monster High because I'll be happy if I go to Monster High. And her dad's like, okay, whatever makes you happy. Is that a yes? Make a wish. So she comes to Monster High, but an important point is that Monster High is in very strict, no human policy. Mom had an amazing time when she went there. Your mother was a full monster. I'm human, and I'm sorry, sweetie. They don't accept half monsters. Well, they accepted me. She's wanting to do this for a while because she wants to be part of the monster world. That's all I want, a chance to belong somewhere. So she needs to keep half of her identity a secret, okay? Remember, the school is serious about keeping humans out. You've really got to keep that part of you secret. And if anything goes wrong, you can always come home. I'll be awake. Dracula coming in, and she has all this pressure from her dad. And also, she practices witchcraft, but that's a secret nobody knows about yet. So that makes her a bit more closed off from the rest of the world. Oh, this is it. Back at school, still living by his rules. How can I find some air to breathe? We also meet Cleo. She's a royal mummy. She's incredible. Cleo! Laguna! Cleo has just broken up with Deuce, and this is the first time she's seeing him. I'm so over him. Completely and totally over him. She also meets some other monsters, including the fantastic Laguna Blue. But don't be fooled by how cute and bubbly she is. She also has a lot of bite to her. You need me to eat him? <laughs> we meet Keith, who is a little bit of a hothead. If I do say so myself, a lot of fire. I feel this is gonna be hot. <clears throat> Keith is stoked to catch up with his favorite buddy, Deuce. Welcome back. Keith, what up, man? Deuce is finding himself, is figuring out himself in this new world, and he's kind of trying to stick to the to the better path um, compared to what Gorgons usually are. Won't be any trouble for me this year, headmistress. Gorgons are always trouble. On her first day of school, she actually runs into my character, Gulia, in the dorm. And I give her a little bit of a scare because I like freaking out the freshmen. You don't find your room. Your room finds you. School is a lie. <laughs> she finds her dorm and she meets Frankie and Jackie Laura, her roomies. Her and Frankie immediately off to a great start. I'm Frankie. Pronouns they, them. I'm only 15 days old. Hi, Claudine. She, her. Nice to meet ya. And Frankie's like super awkward, very, very straightforward, and like a very quick speaking. She's like, Randa? Did you know that the word werewolf comes from the old English werewolf, although many believe the original origin is the Norse barul fish, which is hard to say. It means one in wolf's skin. And Claudine, who has like never had any real friends before, is like, I can dig it. So they become awkward besties and they navigate their lives throughout Monster High. I'm so happy to walk her buddies. Dracula takes a little longer to warm up. You know the type of monster who loves to be surrounded with others so they feel a real sense of connection and community? Yes, that's why I'm here. Yeah, I'm not one of those monsters. She doesn't like them at first and tells them to stay to their side of the room. So please, keep to your side of the room and I won't have to suck all your blood out. So, on the first day of school, she meets Deuce Gorgon, this tall, brooding, very cute uh, son of Medusa. I'm Deuce. You're a Gorgon. Oh, uh, yeah, but not necessarily that, that kind of Gorgon. I've got a strict no snake bites or turning anyone to stone policy. That's the slightly pretentious glasses. It's a good look. When Deuce meets Claudine, they have a connection. He can tell she's a special monster. I'm trying not to be who, who I was anymore, if that makes any sense. Weirdly, it does. So, she also has this new teacher, Mr. Comos. Who can tell me what the greatest threat to monster kind is? Oh! Uh, could we give Frankie a hand? And he's got horns, and he's talking about how, how much humans suck. Humans are the worst. 
Humans are the greatest threat to monster kind. Exactly right. Which is why they are banned from Monster High. And he is explaining the history of Monster High and saying how there used to be another student who's half human and half monster. Mr. High, he tried and tried to fit in with his kind. Monsters hated human Jekyll. And humans hated the Monster High. Everyone sings and dance with Mr. Como. and how there might be a secret potion. Did he ever figure it out? How to be fully monster? According to legends, yep. Made a potion that could ixnay his human side, but he was kicked out of school before he could take it. That allows her to get rid of her half-human side. So naturally, she wants to get her claws on it. Rumor has it that he built a secret lab right here on campus. Though, no one ever found it. And she realizes that when she sees Juice, she starts to become human. Her claws start to recede, and we kind of realize that when Claudine gets anxious, she starts turning human. So now this is a huge thing she needs to deal with while she's at school because no one can know she's human. What? So then later, she admits to Frankie that she is actually half human. I don't see what the big deal is. I am a real, live, living human. Half of me is. And Frankie's like, I don't really care because there is the first friend that they've ever had and they've got low standards anyway. Wow, this is a pickle. How can I help? Then, as they're on their little deep talk and journey, all I know is I'm your friend. And I like you, and your brain, and all your parts. They keep walking through my graveyard, which really bothers me because I'm trying to sleep. Oh. Will you get off my bed? I'm trying to sleep. But then all of a sudden they see her and she's doing witchcraft in this secret place. And they're like, oh my gosh, what is that? And then she's like, oh, it's witchcraft. Ah, my secret is revealed. Just please <sighs> don't tell my dad. Vampires have been at war with witches for centuries. He'd kill me if I wasn't undead. Our lips are sealed. You can actually stitch mine shut if you'd like. And then she talks to Claudine and Frankie. How did you learn how to do this? Well, it's not easy. You've got to practice a lot. But then Claudine's like, I have a secret too. And so then they share their, their secret together and then they're like, oh, I can trust you. You're half human, and you need to find a potion made by a dead half-monster scientist that may or may not be in a secret lab behind that locked door, all before the Founders' Day dinner next week. Yep. Wow, you summed that up really nicely there. So now they find this new camaraderie in their shared secret. Man, my secret is big, but yours is apocalyptic big. Yeah. I'd get kicked out of the only place I've ever really belonged. And so then they sing a song about it called Three of Us. It's very cool. Afterwards, they find a door and do the magic to get unlock this room to get in there so we can get the serum. We can't figure it out. So then they try and do a spell, but then they need a lot of stuff. The perfect spell. Mist of releasing. Sounds like a laxative. It does. Oh no. It's a powder spell. Seriously advanced. I can't even pull off basic cauldron work yet. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do this. So now they're going on this adventure, trying to find the potion. For the mist of releasing spell, there's a few ingredients we need to find. Like a scavenger hunt? I love it. Deuce and Claudine have a little flirting, they have a bridge scene together, and they slowly kind of, I don't know, become more than friends. Find the spell, spell doesn't work. Bring the power to my fist, release the hold with gathered mist. We get caught by blood good, and then we get detention. What's the punishment for students out after curfew, Mr. Comos? Per ghoul code, one month detention. That's right. Claudine saves Cleo from a falling gargoyle, and she was really confused because why would something like her save Cleo? Look out! And 
Draculaura using her witch powers, and Frankie using their brilliant mind, and Claudine using her strength, and they finally open it. <laughs> Holy headless horsewoman! It worked! I just needed a human hand. Hide secret half. We're, we're looking around, we're looking around, we push a button. It's a button! It's an eye. It's a button! It's an eye. It's a button! Try it. It's an eye. And a button! And then we find this like secret lab. Hyde kept busy. They all get their hands on this potion. It's his formula. No more human. I'm free. Oh my god, Kwani is gonna be a full human as the end of the movie. Wait, what? Just kidding. Who is there other than their teacher, Mr. Comos? And they're like, Mr. Comos, what are you doing here? No, Mr. Comos, I we can explain. There's no need to explain, Frankie. I was worried this was your plan, Claudine. Do not take that potion. Trust me, I know what it's like to feel like an outsider. And a plot twist. I haven't been entirely forthcoming with you. Turns out, Mr. Comos, who was one of our beloved teachers at the time, was actually half human and half monster himself. I'm part human too. And he tricks Claudine into giving him the potion and he takes it instead. I know a better way. And he turns out to be uh, Mr. Hyde's son. Man, Comos was my mother's maiden name. My name is Hyde. Hyde Jr., technically. I was named after my father. You're Hyde's son? That's what I just said. Try to keep up, Claudine. And he had to take vengeance for his father. And so he was coming back to destroy all of Monster High. So you just wanted to turn on Monster 2? So you could stay at Monster High? Oh, I don't want to stay at Monster High. <laughs> I'm going to destroy Monster High. But guess what? This potion was a bit of a scam because it doesn't actually just make you full monster. <laughs> <laughs> It makes you the ultimate monster. So you can take other monsters' powers. <laughs> and then he takes my powers away, and so I'm weak, and then I don't know what to do now. What have you done to her? I've stolen her powers, her very monster essence. It's perfect. And then... Frankie finally figures out how to use his cell phone and goes on live. Go live! Okay. What's this? And none other than myself, Laguna and Cleo. Realizes, oh my gosh, they're definitely in danger. We're trapped, Draculaura's hurt. Please get help. And then comes to rescue us. Oh my rod! Where's Comos? Why is he doing this? Wait. Comos uses Deuce's powers against him and turns Deuce to stone. At least I finally got to stare into your eyes. Oh. And Cleo, she actually saves the day because it's her idea to make Comos look at his own reflection in Cleo's cell phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and take credit for that right then. <laughs> Claudine. <laughs> Produce. They defeat him, they turn him to stone. Smile. No. 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 What have you done? And then with the power of friendship and love um, and cell phone technology. Claudine finds her true monster self and stands up to the evil Comos who's trying to tear down the school. Think of it as extra credit. Yeah! <laughs> and then my powers come back. We learn that you, if you follow your true monster heart, you can be accepted anywhere. <gasps> <gasps> Jesus! 
She's okay! Claudia is now accepted into Monster High because she's human, but she's also monster. She's got a true monster heart. There she is. Hey. Hey. Claudine. What did they say? Claudine Wolf. And then Bloodgood decides that humans are allowed at Monster High. Letting our girl Claudine stay at school with us and be whoever she wants to be and be whoever she is. And so I ask you to join me in welcoming our first, well, second, but first officially known student with human blood, Claudine Wolf. <laughs> and then we sing a whole song about it. No more waiting on the sidelines. No more hiding on the inside. No apologies. Love it or hate it, I'm a just be me. Um, and overall, the film ends with Deuce kind of becoming a leader, getting on student council, running for student council, and Claudine and him almost towards a relationship. I'm running for student council. Oh, you're gonna kill it. I mean, it'd be great. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Like, that's a whole movie. I just summed it up really well, I think. I think I've cracked the code to this whole having friends business. Yeah? What is it? It's simple. You just need really good ones. Then we are set up for the second movie, where we see um, a bit of a hand uh, with a, a globe spotting Draculaura. And you'll find out what all that is about in this new one. Now, I think you're ready to watch Monster High 2. Now it's sophomore year, and what's, what's going to go down? Love it.